Okay, I'm back with a repairing of this amplifier. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I've just woken up. <laughs> and um, I've managed to find a... I've managed to find the, the service manual for this. This thing has got absolutely everything. Uh, whether it's, you know, the circuit diagrams, the different parts. It's... I'm very impressed with you know, what, what this has. Um, and luckily for me, it's got, it's not only got, I mean, as you can see there, it's got the circuit diagrams for certain things. And the, the board, the PCB board layouts. And thankfully for me, the, um, there is a components list of absolutely everything and what I have done here is get the staples on the cushion <laughs> okay yes. I'm deciding to do a replacement on all the capacitors so all the electrolytic ones I managed to just highlight them thankfully there's not that many of them <laughs> I can I can do this. I can replace these caps, and I think, I mean, this unit is this amplifier is from 1981, which is you know just before I was born, <laughs> so it's been there for a long time, sitting around, and I've I know that the capacitors, the electrolytics tend to dry out and go faulty and funny and, and change the, you know, so I'm sure that's probably what's happened to this. Well, let's. This is the first thing I'm going to do. Before I get into transistors, because they're a little harder to get hold of, or in ICs even more, um, I will I will use... I will do this. I will replace all the capacitors and see what happens. So here starts the adventure, the beginning of the adventure of um, fixing that amp there. Right, so what I've noticed just before ordering, I got my capacitors out. And it turns out I do have some of them. Three, I believe it's like um, 330 microfarad, 6.3 volts. Okay, it's 10 volts. What was that voltage? 6.3. Okay, that's fine. Do I need any more? Nope, don't need any more. I mean, these capacitors are like a few years old. I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking about you know, three years old, so two years old probably. That's when I got them, and that's better than being thirty years old. I'm here in a with a weird camera angle directly from above and I'm practically using the the tripod legs as earmuffs almost <laughs> so it's kind of so it's kind of you know in a weird position here anyway I managed to open this out and open the underside of it too and yeah I came across as expected I suppose I came across more nice juicier transistors and um, I've already tested them I I desoldered this on that and I tested them they, they seem to be fine everything I mean these seem to be the um, I checked these up I checked the information on them as you can see here I've um, yeah, got the pinouts of the trans transistors. This one and this one, basically, they're doubled. This and this are the same. This and this are the same. I'm guessing that you know, well, I'm figuring that it's one for one set for each channel. Even though this one's in a weird position, it's like there's this transistor with like a wire going all the way and connecting it to the board. I will take a photograph of this and I'll. You know, edit in the video <laughs> just now. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, I've marked out 
all the in blue all the capacitors that I need and in green all the transistors that exist in the system so and obviously at the top I've I've managed to find the data sheets on the transistor on two of the main transistors and one thing which I found interesting about the service manual is that there is a troubleshoot and troubleshooting analysis um, like a little tiny section I wish it was a bigger section with more you know more issues but this thing was seriously built to be serviced. I'm very impressed to be honest with you. Um the start thing so I've been as you can see I've been highlighting oops I've been highlighting and pinpointing the exact locations of things <laughs> on the circuit diagram and then I will again you know, take pictures of this and this. I it's so easy to locate everything. I'm very impressed with that. So I've checked as far as the best of my knowledge I've checked with my multimeter the other transistors all the transistors that were advised to be checked it doesn't seem to be any transistor that there doesn't seem to be any transistor that is you know faulty or anything like that or shorted out this seemed to be fine um, let's just hope it's the capacitors because to be I mean I've got I've been collecting the capacitors so far. I have, you know, some of them, which exist in this. The ones which I don't have, uh, these two, I can. I only managed to find one. For now, online that is. So I have only ordered one. Uh, the rest of them seem to come from abroad, or overseas, and are extremely expensive. So I'm not going to go to that. Um. So yeah, let's kind of um, see how this goes. I've uh, like uh, recorded bits of videos <laughs> throughout the day on, on what I'm doing. I have something else to kind of make a video about too in, in between doing this. Uh, is another piece of retro gear which I've just which has just arrived today and that is the Sony Professional Walkman, which I'm very impressed with. It just arrived today so I'm like, ooh, I'm all happy. <laughs> You know, it's kind of <sighs> nostalgia. I'm a sucker for nostalgia. Seriously, I am. Oh well. Anyway, right. So now it's time for me to get packed up, clean everything up, and because believe it or not, it is actually half past two in the night. Yes, half past two in the night, and I'm here with. An amplifier which is deciding to be temperamental. It's just a freaking attention seeker, isn't it? This is what it, it just wants some. It's you know, it's a 1981. I think it's a 1981. Well, anyway, it's a 1981 amplifier. It's been sitting there in the corner of many rooms, and it's just now it's just wanting some attention. That's all. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm here doing this. I need to get cleaned up, you know, everything. Okay, that's cool. Down. And just I will say good night for now. If there's another segment in this video, I will continue. If I have any other any other discoveries, if not, then let's hope the next video I will be, you know, resoldering capacitors and you know on this thing and that it will be a success positive thinking positive thinking okay yalla i go now bye bye <laughs>